Classroom management is a very important function of Classroom Suite version 4. In this video, you'll learn to create a teacher, a class, and some students. This trial CD sets you up as an administrator. So you're logged in as an administrator, and from this vantage point, you're going to click on the button marked Teacher Options to begin creating other users. Choose the button on the upper right labeled New User, and you'll be able to create a teacher. Under User Level, you select Teacher. We'll create a fictitious teacher whose name is Suzanne Davis. We'll give her a password and make it very simple. It's just the letter S, and the hint is the letter S. You can make whatever password you choose. We'll insert a picture from file, a digital image, using this button toward the upper right corner, and we have a picture handy. This will help with her login. So we're done. Now that we've created this teacher, we'll create a class by choosing the button Manage Classes. We'll create a new class and we'll call it Suzanne's Class. The class owner will be Suzanne. We're done with that. Now on to the step of adding the students. We're currently logged into Suzanne's class for adding these new users. If we have a lot of students to add, we can import them from a text file, but right now we'll simply type in some new users. The user level is predetermined to be a student. The first student we'll add will be Jeremy. His sign-in name, his first name, and last name, Adler. Note that it's designated already that he belongs to Suzanne's class. We'll give him a digital photo as well. And then one more student. The new user button. We'll call her Hannah. And last name Williams. Again, she's in Suzanne's class. Find that digital photo, and we're all set. So we've created the teacher, the class, and two students. Now, when you've logged in to your trial CD, you've come directly to this screen. We're going to change that now. Again, moving into teacher options, into administrator options. You'll note that you have the program opening with the selected user administrator signed in. Deselect that box and things will change. And here's how they'll change. When you log in next, your screen will look more like this. I have a number of users, teachers and students, on my version of the software. Your sign-in screen might look a little bit more like this. When you sign in as Suzanne Davis, you're prompted to put in her password. And when you go to Assignments, you'll see the students that are in Suzanne's class, and you'll have the opportunity to make those assignments, to generate reports, and portfolios. And we have another video geared specifically for those tasks.